Good evening, everyone. Where is the money? That is the question tonight in Glen Allen, Missouri. Uh, Kathy spent the day speaking to tornado victims there as the one year anniversary of that deadly storm approaches. They want to know why they haven't received financial help, even though nearly $200,000 in donations currently sits in a local bank. We've called um, Catholic charities over and over and over and all we get to run around. Just where's the help that they've been promising? That's what I want to know. Catholic Charities is handling case management for Glen Allen tornado victims. Chief Regional of, uh, Officer Jeremy Rowland says they've closed six cases in the 11 and a half months since the storm, spending roughly $8,000. Kathy asked him directly about residents' concerns. It's taking too long. No one's helping me. And people I talked to specifically said Catholic Charities is not helping me. We call and call and call. No one calls us back. No one's helping us. How would you respond? So, well, f first, I would, would apologize if that's happening. That is that our intent is to, to help everyone that, that we can through this process. And it's very difficult. It it's, can be long and it can be, can be frustrating. Uh, and that's due to uh, you know, the care we take to ensure that the funds get to the right people. Four High Street is where it currently Now there is a new effort to speed up the recovery process. Catholic Charities is teaming up with the East Missouri Action Agency and residents in Glen Allen will see changes by the end of the month. Kathy will have more tonight on at 10 right here on KFES 2 or over on KFES following March Madness.